we're looking at Caribbean food and drink, uh, vegetables. You can see that we've got the most common ones, sweet potato, yam. I tried to make this a comprehensive list, but you can add others in the comments below if you like. We've got uh, a display here of beautiful fruits and vegetables from the Caribbean. You can see green bananas and green plantings there, as well as white plantings, uh, quite a common vegetable in the Caribbean, although some call it a fruit because it's uh, a member of the banana family. Here's a few more vegetables. You've got chocho in the top right, also called Christophine, green banana, scotch bonnet peppers in the middle, sweet potatoes on the left. And here we have a, a video of us walking through a grocery store display in southeast London, in England. We've got Eddowes, we've got sweet potatoes of various types, we've got uh, coriander leaves, coconut, and there's cabbage there on the left. Uh, we've got yam. I mean, these are all things which grow in the Cari Caribbean, but they also grow around the world too. All right, um, and these are also staples from Africa as well as South America too. At the top there, there are bunches of thyme, fresh thyme, green bananas in the middle there. We've got okra on the left and loose at the top and we have scotch bonnet peppers on the right. So here we go on to talk about fruits, a nice long list of Caribbean fruits, some of which I'm sure some of you have never heard of, such as stinking toe. Tastes very nice actually, stinking toe, but um, does have a particular smell about it, hence the name. Guava, very popular, tamarind. We've got some examples of fruits here in the photograph. Uh, notice tamarind there. We've got ginger, limes, and we've got uh, tomatoes, which grow everywhere. This photograph shows aki in the center. And then we've got papaya on the left and sugar apples, a green fruit at the top. And we've got mangoes, pineapples, Passion fruit, which is in the middle on the left in this photograph, is a very popular flavoring for drinks, passion fruit drinks, mixed with tropical, other tropical fruits for a tropical punch. We're going to talk here about seasonings and spices. We've got a list here. Um, ginger powder, garlic powder, all-purpose seasoning is that usually number one in the kitchen with any savory dish, any savory meat or fish dish. Then we have thyme, jerk seasoning pimento and you can also add if it's if your dish is slightly sweet cinnamon nutmeg these seasonings and the condiments and tins and so on you can usually get in supermarkets which are in areas of high immigrant populations um, but to be honest the, the, some of these items are becoming mainstream now you can find them anywhere across the country and uh, if you can't, then we can uh, help supply these for you. Um, this might be a typical grocery basket for someone who's buying Caribbean products. You've got ackee and sawfish. You've got um, cock soup, which is a male hen, by the way. You've got jerk seasoning. You've got callaloo in the tin. You've got... Um, Milo, which is a little bit like Ovaltine or hot chocolate, very popular in the Caribbean. We do provide hampers, so if there are particular items you, you want that are not so close to you, we can provide these for you. But we do suggest you email first to check availability, talk to us about what you want first, and then we, we do what we can to help supply. So you will have hampers of seasonings or fresh fruit and vegetables, or alcoholic drinks. 